How does Web and Crafts make this awesome and buttery smooth transition where the text and objects seem to come out of the abyss? Let me show you how I used a little AI to quickly reproduce this effect in Builder.io, how the code works with GSAP timelines, and on how you can iterate on this stuff visually, as well as using Nano Banana and VO3 to make these awesome 3D objects. So first, we need a starting point. You can, of course, hand code your own layout. I like to use the Builder.io Chrome extension to just copy layouts directly from the web. Paste in Builder, iterate in the chat all you like, and then we have our starting point just a static scrolling layout. So let's start by describing the animation we want here. So first let's point out we want to use the GSAP library to add scroll animations. This gives us very precise timeline control that we can manually edit and code easily too. We'll point out we want the content sticky during scroll. And the important part, we want to fade in each letter of design from blurry and transparent to clear and focused. We want to be clear that it should stagger between each letter. And then after all that's done, we're going to fade in the paragraph and learn more below. So I can fire this off and give it one sec to generate. And then I landed here. So we see our letters are fading in and then our other two sections, and then they continue to scroll. Not bad. The position of all the stuff isn't perfect. So I can pop over to design mode. And here I can make any fine tuned design adjustments that I like until any positioning or details are what I want. Once you have the text looking good, we can go ahead and add in the video. As you can see, I'm taking the animation step by step. So I'm not trying to make it too complicated on myself doing everything at once. The video I want is this butterfly animation. I can drag the video in here and then tell it where I want it positioned. And I want it to fade in at the same time design animates in. So now as the letters come in, the video will be fading in as well. And after a moment, the agent gave us our video. Now, a cool thing is that Builder will use your design system by default. And while this is pretty on brand, I could have been more specific of what I wanted. After design mode comes in handy again, We'll select the video layer and position it how we actually want ba, 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 until we get exactly what we were looking for. Now, the awesome part is we're staggering these letters and we're fading in the video all together. You can use natural language to tweak and iterate until it's exactly what you want. I kept going and added the next sections using all the same techniques so we can morph into the next part and the next part. Let's now jump into how the code works under the hood and how you can manually tweak all these parameters which can be faster and easier than using natural language to do it with AI. So over in Builder, I just asked, what file does the GSAP code live in? And it told me design showcase. So I can go to code mode, open up design showcase, and then here we can tweak any of the values, like the blur in our letters, or the degree on the X axis that we move the video. For example, if we make the blur zero and the X percent of letters much larger, we can see here quickly the difference that makes on the design, how the letters move farther and don't blur on entrance. For a full breakdown of all the code, techniques, and prompts that I used, check out my latest blog post in the Builder.io blog.